And as a ball player, I would say I'm uh, you know, a guy that can drive the ball gap to gap. Just, you know, starting to develop a little more power. Um, but I'm definitely a defensive guy at first base as well. That's, that's athletic, can run the bases as well. He really is that, that person that you, you, you kind of dream up on paper at times. He loves playing. He loves being in the clubhouse. He loves being on the bus. He loves everything about being a baseball player, but most importantly, he loves people. He's going to make whoever he is around a better, a better person and better players because of what he does and what he brings to the table. Defensively, the best defensive first baseman in the minor leagues, hands down. With him over there, it just you feel like you can throw anything over there and it's going to be an out. It makes that side of the ball so much easier. If he was playing first base in the major leagues right now, he's in contention for a gold glove. It is that good. I would describe my defense as you know someone that's uh, you know trying to just help the team win and you know save outs and you know, make athletic plays out there and you know try to play like a shortstop and you know just kind of knowing who I am as a uh, first baseman and, and knowing how I need to work and um, be ready for the game. He, he comes out and you're hitting him ground balls. He takes a few right at him. He wants to throw to second base. He moves over to his right so he can work on backhands. He moves to his left so he can work on forehands. He he understands what he needs to do to be ready to play and he goes about that every day. As you get to know Evan, he's one of the most self-aware players, hitters, and humans out there. He, he really knows what he needs to feel to be successful. And he's hitting the ball 100 miles an hour off the bat. Uh, and he's just hitting ground balls to the third baseman, the shortstop, the second baseman. And I think about the time we started to be a little bit concerned about it, he started to be a little bit concerned about it. And, and just like most really good competitors and, and, and really strong athletes, he fixed it. The big thing was when I, when I kind of figured out how to get some rhythm on the body and hands, and they were in sync. Um, you know, once I started to be able to do that, I started to drive the ball a little more and, you know, just felt more comfortable and um, even my outs were starting to be in the air a little bit more. So it was, it was exciting to see some results and, you know, all the work he put in. Um, but the big reason was my hands were getting uh, really high, so when I'd fire it, it just had to be super steep and, you know, gut balls I'd hit hard, be on the ground, so the ball's in the air. But it didn't happen overnight, so it wasn't something where it's like I lowered my hands and started hitting all the home runs and extra base hits. It was, you know, continual practice, continual work. His approach is so good. He's, he's very, like, he reacts and adapts pitch to pitch. He's reading pitchers constantly. Like he's just a smart, he's a smart dude. It's exciting because you know all the other intangibles are there to that make him a guy that's going to be a big league hitter. And now he's finding ways to beat pitchers with some of his technical adjustments, and he's he could be scary. We're we're excited for him. He's the player that you want on your big league team. You want him in your city. You want to have him be part of your team for a long time.